Yo, we need to remove this myth that, like, nutrients is only possible to receive within um, within anim animal-derived sources. We need to, like, really, like, freaking remove that just myth because it's not true at all and it's truly misconception it's truly deceiving and it's truly a lie like i'm gonna start off with milk right so you know how when they say you know milk it builds your bones i said this before in one of my other videos but how when they say it builds your bones, makes your, your bones stronger, you get tall, and it helps with development. First of all, we're not a cow. We're not a baby calf. And milk is biologically designed for a calf. And we're not calves. Milk, cow milk is what makes a, like, 50-pound calf turn into, like, a 500-pound cow. But we're not cows, though, so we don't need that. Our, our breast milk has its own significance, okay? But about the bone and the calcium, the cow milk, the calcium within cow's milk, we can't even properly absorb it. It doesn't properly absorb within our bodies. Ultimately, when we consume it, basically, cow milk is acidic and when we consume acidic foods and drinks then ultimately our blood will become acidic and our body is gonna do it's gonna fight to bring the alkalinity back within our temples so when you consume milk your body is gonna take like reserves from your so basically calcium is within your bones like 99 percent of calcium was is within your bones and within your teeth that's where 99 percent of the calcium within your body is at and when you consume acidic milk that's is your body's going to take reserve take the calcium from your bones to restore alkalinity within your blood so basically it's like basically it's like you you're destroying your bones that's what it means like that's what that's what's really happening when you consume milk like your bones are being destroyed because your body is like this leeching leeching the nutrients from your bones to restore the alkalinity within your temple that's why you really shouldn't consume milk like it's it's more it's way deeper than cruelty and um and just just not and just not consuming it like it's way deeper than that but yeah that's that's one thing i really don't know why why is that even a thing <laughs> you know i had people tell me um when i stopped drinking milk and consuming milk that i was making the wrong decision but at the time, I wasn't I wasn't like as intelligible as I am right now, so so I couldn't like really like debunk what they were saying. But I I knew deep inside I knew it wasn't right. You feel me? I knew it wasn't right. That's when I did my research, and I encourage you all to do yours as well and and ask questions as well. But yeah, um, also. Yeah, when it comes to like calcium, you know, what I mean, you want calcium within, you want more calcium. There's sources out here that has like freaking 50 times more calcium than, than you could ever get from an animal source, okay? You got sesame seeds, you got dark greens like mustard, Swiss chard, um, arugula you know dark leafy greens you got fruits <laughs> fruits has an abundance of calcium in it as well so i feel like like you know when it comes to just like just like just getting like proper nutrients 
I don't think we should solely turn to animal-based sources. And also, I think we should really just do our just research as to what it is that we're consuming and how it's biologically affecting us. Because we are not, we're not animals. Like, like we really out here eating like animals. Like, but we're not animals and we're not biologically meant to eat animals. And if we were biologically meant to eat animals, then first of all, we, we wouldn't even have to denature them. We wouldn't have to, you know, put them on a skillet and denature it and consume it that way. Like, we would just be able to eat it straight up flesh. And also our teeth, we don't have claws and we don't have things to, to pierce through flesh either. I don't know anybody, I don't know any carnivore that looks like very identical to me that's <laughs> eating flesh like carnivores don't look nothing like me carnivores don't got my teeth they don't got my hands they don't got they don't look like me okay they don't have my same saliva and they don't eat plants uh, i don't know any carnivore that eat um plants and raw and and plants and and denatured flesh at the same time i don't know anybody that does that but um anyways um yeah same with protein like um receiving protein within animal derived sources that just doesn't make any sense because first of all protein is not something that we don't like i don't know why they like try to tell us that we need like protein is everything when it's really not everything like like it's like it's like it's like protein is like the only like i don't know like just substance that the human the human body needs or something when it's not true and they try to like really like stuff our throats with protein and stuff but honestly there's there's protein sources is way better than animal derived sources Okay, fruits again, like fruits, legumes, nuts, seeds, and yeah. I feel like we really need to like start asking questions as to why we eat what we eat and as to why you know what I mean? Just things hard how they are, you know what I mean? Like, really start asking questions and really start doing just research because honestly, like, the way how we're eating, it's not right. It's not right biologically. It's not right. And it's not right for us biologically. It's not even about, like, it's not even about it just like being wrong it's just biologically not for us and that's why we're not properly functioning it's why we're not properly functioning within our mind body and spirits because we're just so just dis disharmonized you know what i mean we're disharmonized within what we consume you know internally and externally we're just disharmonized and I feel like diet is just so important. It's, it's so important because it's like it's like how you eat is like how you are. You feel me? Because it's like if you eat and stuff that's it's highly processed. It's not even food. It was made in like a factory or a lab or something. You know, ultimately, and also, and even even if you eat in like animals, and that's just like that was raised poorly, factory farm. You know injected with antibiotics injected with um um with um nitrates and preservatives and and all these sodiums and you know what i mean like you know ultimately it's like you become what you consume you know what i mean and also these you know animals they're before they're slaughtered you know they, they're, they're feeling all these emotions as well you know fear trauma depression you know um depression sadness anger so ultimately it's like what you can 
you should, if you're gonna consume that, at least care how they were treated. You know what I mean? Like care where they were, where they were raised at. Care what what they ate, and if they had any, you know what I mean, injections or care about what the animals ate too. Because whatever they ate, you're eating it as well. So you know, yeah, same with the dairy too. Like actually, if you're gonna consume that, like actually care where it came from too. Because it's like whatever they had you got it too you know what i mean like they can have a whole disease this is why people get sick because these animals be having diseases they be having cancers they be having tumors they be having all that stuff and and then when you consume it too now you finna have what they have this is why people get sick so but like i was saying though yeah so basically like yeah you should you should care about like you know what i mean like as to how you know the um animals were raised and everything but ultimately like what what they had what they had what they consumed like when you consume when you consume them it's like you taking in everything that you know what i mean it's like <laughs> it's like you consuming a soul really like you know what i mean like all because it's like how how they felt is, is how you're gonna feel as well this is why you feel like crap <laughs> this is how you feel like crap when you eat stuff that's not even it's not even food it, it didn't come from the ground it didn't come from the from the water you know what i mean it didn't come from the ground it didn't come from source it didn't come from it didn't come from the sun it didn't come you know what i mean it, it didn't get its nutrients from 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 life you know what i mean it didn't get its nutrients from there so ultimately you're consuming death and that's how you're gonna feel like death and a lot of people feel like so i don't want to say that word but a lot of people just feel so low vibrational to the point where it's like you don't even you don't even notice it you don't even you don't even, it's like you're so used to feeling like crap that you don't even know you feel like crap like a lot of people they feel like crap but they don't even notice it they don't, they don't a lot of people don't even feel good and don't even know they're so used to feeling like crap that it's their normal that's really how it is for a lot of people that's really how it is and you know what i mean my point in saying all this is that you know what i mean you don't have to feel like crap like you don't have to feel like crap and there's options like because if you think about it because a lot of people it's like they can't live without they they might think they can't live without meat, but if you think about it, like yo, when it comes to meat, bro, like it's not even really that much meat options, like bro, you got like five things, right? You got like beef, pork, fish, uh, sh like lamb. It's really not that much options, but think about all the plant-based options in the world, yo. Like there's like thousands of plants out here, yo. There are literally thousands of plants, and like that bare minimum of of freaking animal derived sources like it's not even that much animal derived y'all just so used to having animal derived sources within everything but honestly bro like there's so many plants in the world like i can never run out of something to eat bro like i'm always have i'm always trying a new plant like you know what i mean like there's so many just like there's thousands of plants out here thousands of plants out here yo that you can you can never run out of something to eat yo plants grins nuts seeds there's just know that there's options okay like i know it might be it might seem difficult in the beginning and stuff i know it might seem difficult but know that i hope you realize it's so yo i literally i just i was literally just picking fruit from a tree yesterday I was just picking fruit from a tree yesterday, yo. At this, like, literally, there's life everywhere. Like, at this point, you don't even freaking, you don't even have to go to the market anymore. Like, I could find a tree with some, with some nuts or seeds on it, or I could find a tree with some fruit on it and, and munch on that. And even, like, even herbs, like, there's herbs everywhere. If you, you know what I mean, if you, or flowers, you know what I mean, you could, you could consume those. You know what I mean? If you if you study them, like there's life everywhere. And honestly, like if if like animals were really for us, like if if we was really like biologically meant to consume that stuff, then they would be everywhere. You know what I mean? Like if we was really supposed to consume cows, 
then I was there would be I would there would be a cow where I'm at right now. Like I should be able to go up to a cow and you know what I mean and and drink drink their milk, drink their milk. But I can't do that because they're in the factories or they're locked up in somebody's cage or something or or farm or something. You know what I mean? Like if that was really for us then they would be in abundance out here. You know what I mean? But it's not. When I'm out here, all I see is plants. All I see is plants, trees, herbs, you know what I mean? Nuts, seeds, berries, that's all I see when I'm out here. It's everywhere. You know what I mean? You can, the, the only place you could find um, animal derived sources is in, is in the market or and um, your um, your your animal derived sources come from well, most majority of y'all is coming from the um, the the, ag the, the ag agriculture farms, okay? And that that's not okay. It's not okay at all. But yeah. Yeah, that's all I have to say, though. <laughs> um, I hope this made sense. I hope this resonated with you. And um, I, I encourage whoever's watching this to really just, really just, just do research and ask questions. Like, really start questioning things and question why things are the, are the way they are. And you know, why why do we eat how we eat? Why do we feel how we feel? Why do we think how we think? Why can't we feel good, you know what I mean? Like, start asking questions. Why do we feel this way? Who's making us feel this way? Where does this come from? Where is this from? Why do I have this? You know what I mean? Start asking questions. And I, I encourage you to just do some research as well, you know? You know, start reading. You know, start 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 deep diving, you know. Cause then but my patient one is family. I was gonna leave my the video where I last left off at. I was just gonna leave it there and just post that. But now I wanna add on to what I was saying. So basically what I was saying before I cut out, I ran out of storage, but what I was saying before I cut out when it comes to like just wisdom and insight the the best the greatest wisdom and insight that you will ever ever receive would be from within once you tap into yourself the knowledge that you receive from when you tap in your trait what's from when you tap into yourself it hits so it hits so much just different from from knowledge from a book or from an external source you know what I mean so really just tap in with yourself tap in with yourself and to know and to know and discover what it is that's right for you what is it that's true to yourself and what it is that's true to this realm, you feel what I mean? But yeah, like I was saying, or like, but I wanted to add on to what I was saying about the protein. But I meant to say, I meant to say it in the, um, in the last clip, but like, like how I said with the calcium note, like the protein as well, protein from animal derived sources are not absorb properly either because like i said we're not biologically meant to consume animals and we can't we can't die we have our body has a hard a very 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 hard time digesting protein within animal derived sources and this is why people have such a hard time releasing their bowels either that they have a hard time releasing their bowels as well as 
they're not having frequent bowel movements either because the food isn't properly digestion. The so-called, I'm talking about the meats and also these made up foods that be, that be made in the in the in the factories like chips and um i don't know fried stuff like stuff candy like that's not even food like that turn the ingredient around ain't a single thing in there is food what is a red 40 <laughs> what is a freaking uh, a gourd gum what is a it got wax like bro none of that is food like they got y'all eating plastic out here as a ben ben you can't even pronounce it i can't even pronounce it like it's not even food this is why you're not having any bowel movements this is why you're not having no bowel movements and that's not okay that's not okay at all because people think it's bad we have we release we release waste in many ways we, we, we release waste through through urine through through feces through through um through um vomit that's vomit that's a form of waste and people think releasing waste correlate releasing waste as a bad thing but it's not a bad thing at all it's not bad to release waste because you're what you're doing is you're releasing the toxins that's toxins being released from your temple. Why would you want the toxins to stay in? Why would you, you should, it's not, that's not okay at all. We shouldn't want the toxins to stay in our temple. We want, you want to release those toxins because when, when you release those toxins, then you feel free, you feel good, you feel, you're, clean, you're cleansing yourself. That's a detox right there. Releasing, 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 um, releasing waste from your temple that's detoxification right there you're releasing toxins you shouldn't you don't want you don't want the waste to just stay there stay there you know right like it's okay to release your bowels there's nothing wrong with that that doesn't mean anything wrong with you that's a good thing you shouldn't want rancid carcasses just staying there for days for weeks for months you shouldn't want that because that's really how it is for people. This carcass is sitting within your body, within your colon. Rotten carcass is sitting within your colon. This is how you get sick. This is how you get in colon cancer. This is how you get in chronic diseases, chronic illnesses. This is how you, this is how you get in sick because you have carcasses literally rot. This is rotting, fermenting within your colon. That's what's happening. And people don't want to release their bowels. They want to keep that in there. Don't do not keep rotten flesh, fermenting flesh, fermenting byproduct, just sitting there. There's there's nothing wrong with releasing your bowels. So if you're watching this, if you're watching this, please please start start eating fruit fruit is probably like the best source of fiber you could ever get is from consuming fruit i said fruit so many times like fruit is literally packed with everything like fruit is really all you need honestly you could literally survive off of fruit because fruit really like i just said it's packed with everything fruit is literally your hydration your your water like everything at this point, if you if you eating fruit, you don't you don't even need to drink water really because the water is within your fruit. The hydration is within your fruit. All the minerals, calcium, like I was just talking about, protein is in fruit as well. So, like I said, you don't have to turn to animal derived sources for any of these essentials. But please, please, this is why this is why you should eat fruit, though. And they like to tell you that fruit is bad because, uh, because of the sugar. And if you're diabetic, you shouldn't eat fruit. Or, or, if, or whatever. If you're, if you're, if you're suffering from chronic illness and you shouldn't eat fruit, that's not true at all. That's not true at all. Because first of all, I'm sorry about saying the sugar and fruit 
is not the same as the crackhead white refined sugar. It's not the same at all. Fruit sugar is fructose. Fructose is not the same as white refined sugar. It's not the same. It's not the same at all. They're nothing alike. White refined sugar is an additive. White refined sugar is a whole additive. This is why you have a heart. This is why this is why you can never be addicted to fruit. Like whenever you eat food, you always gotta add sugar to it because because it's it's addictive. It's it's literally dope. Like it's dope. It's chemicals. It's isolated. But sugar from the fruit, fructose will never have you like that. Fructose, fructose sugar is energy. Fructose sugar is hydration. Fructose sugar is life. They are nothing the same. And if they were the same, they would have the same name. If they were the same, they would have the same chemical compound. But they don't. Okay? But also, when it comes to releasing waste, you release waste through your urinary tract, right? You release waste through through urine, right? Your urine should not be yellow, and your urine should not be should not have a smell. <laughs> your urine should not have a smell. Your urine should run clear and odorless. And if it's not clear, and if it's not if it's not clear, and if it's, it has a it has a pungent smell to it, then that means you're dehydrated. That's a sign that you are dehydrated. You are dehydrated. You are not either you're not eating enough fruit or you're not having enough water, and you need to cleanse. Okay, there's nothing wrong with releasing waste at all. Okay, even if you like vomit. That's your body cleansing itself. You need to thank your body. Really be grateful that you're able to release these toxins because if you don't re if these toxins are not released like then it's, it's just it's a wrap. Like for real for real, it's a wrap. Like you shouldn't we shouldn't be leaving just having waste just sitting out in our colon and sitting in our temple just sitting there and, and fermenting and rotting and, and and parasites and worms. It's just feeding off of it. This is how we get sick. This is how we get sick real for real like cleanse out cleanse your temple you know I'm cleanse your temple cleanse your temple and a, a lot of us like we not even like we not even like we not even overweight you feel me it's just it's waste that's not even that's not even waste it's it's, it's waste <laughs> it's feces building up feces building up that's what it is literally for everything that i just said protein calcium and re releasing releasing waste fruit hydrating watery highly watery fruits like seeded melon seeded melons mangoes Seeded melon, mangoes, berries, peaches, peaches, apples, pears, some just high water content fruits. It's gonna get you right. But I, I really hope, you know, whoever's watching this, like, please, like, for real, for real, like, take care of yourself, for real. Take care of yourself and how you feed yourself because how you feed yourself is how you feed your mind, body, and spirit. You know what I mean? How you feed yourself externally is how you feed yourself internally. And honestly, like, because a lot of people don't think they temple don't matter, but your temple does matter. You know what I mean? Like, like we not we're not only our bodies. You feel me? Like we're more than our bodies. But that don't mean don't take care of your body either. You know what I mean? Because if you, if our body didn't matter, then we wouldn't take care of it. But it does matter because our body is the house of our soul you know what i mean this is where our soul this is where our soul lays at you know what i mean like this this is the home of our soul so 
you know what I mean? Why wouldn't you want to take care of it? Why wouldn't you want to, why wouldn't you want to, you know what I mean, feed your temple? You know what I mean? Life, because te life to your temple is life to your soul. Because if you think about it, like, you know what I mean? Our soul is what's, our soul is what's lighting up our temple. You know what I mean? So, imagine just all of this all of this just just force the life force that's being emitted through our toll just through, i can't even talk all, all of the life force being emitted through our soul to our temple just to bring life to our temple and us not taking care of it it's not okay at all and if you're watching this like i really i don't want this to just go in one ear and go out the other like this is this is serious we need to really start taking care of ourselves because when you take care of yourself you're also taking care of everybody that you love you can't say that you love somebody and you not and you feeding yourself crap and you feeding yourself death because when somebody you love they see you sick how is that going to make them feel? Why would you want somebody that you love to be hurting over you because of because you can't control what you consume because you can't control what you eat? Like now, the people that that you love is hurting over you. You know what I mean? But you say you love them though, but you can't take care of yourself. What the heck? Like. If you love somebody, take care of yourself. That's all you got to do. You know, take care of yourself if you love them. You love If you're not taking care of yourself, do you really love them? For real, for real. Like, this is why I take care of myself because I love I love each and every one of y'all. I love y'all. I love my family. I love everybody. I love life. I, I love that. I love everything. This is why I take care of myself. Because if I don't take care of myself, I'm going to take care of you. And I'm not being true to myself. And I'm not being true to you if I don't take care of myself. This is why I take care of myself. This is why I feed myself life. You know what I mean? Like, why would I put death inside of me in front of the people that I love? And I know it's not right. You feel me? Because it's one thing It's one thing to know all of this. But, you know what I mean? Like, it's one thing. No, nah, it's one thing if you don't know none of this. But then it's one thing if you do. But you don't do nothing about it. You just going to, you feel me? Keep doing what you're doing. But, you feel me? Then that's only making it worse. But, yeah. That's about all I wanted to add on to this. Um, yeah, I hope this resonated with you. Please, please, please start taking care of yourself. I, 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 it, your life will be so much better. Your life will be so much happier. Your life will be so much more in tune. Your life will just, just change drastically only for the better like you feel me once you really start taking care of yourself because honestly like when you take care of yourself externally and internally that is a form of self-love right there self-love isn't going out getting your hair done getting your nails done getting your makeup on that's not self-love at all what the heck that's not self-love going to the spa like <laughs> That's not, I don't know who said that was self love, but it's, that is not self love right there. Going to the spa, getting yo, I mean, I mean it's cool and stuff, but it's not everything. You feel me? That's all like external. That's all. That's all physical. You feel me? Like that's not what true self love is. Self love is really taking care of yourself, really caring about how you feed yourself, caring about what goals and to the temple that houses your soul and caring about the ones that you love taking care of yourself because they're the ones that you love you know what I mean like that's true self love right there I love myself too much to feed to 
to d deteriorate my temple, to deteriorate my spirit, to, de to deteriorate my mind. That's why I will never go back to, you know what I mean, my old low vibrational ways. And, you know what I mean, I just wish for people to just feel feel how I feel, you feel me, like right now, you feel me, like I feel, I feel so, I feel the best than I ever have in my life, once I started feeding myself life, like I feel so alive, yo, like one point in my life, I, I literally, I felt like a ghost, like, I felt like a ghost, like I felt dead, you feel me, like I felt I mean, I felt out my body. I felt out my body, like, you feel me? Like, when I was just consuming just death, you feel me? Like, you truly feel like death when you consume death. And you feel me? No, I'm, I'm here to say you don't got to feel that way. You know what I mean? You don't have to feel that way. And, and your life could change. Your life could be so much better. Your life could be just... Wonderful. So yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Do you see that bird? Yeah. If I'm pointing at it or not. That's but... pretty. But yeah, that's all I had to say. I hope this resonated with you. I hope you could really hear me out. I hope you could really just, one step at a time, just really just take care of yourself. Start loving yourself. Start loving your life. Start loving the people around you. You know what I mean? Start caring about them. You know what I mean? Do it for them. If you're not going to do it for you, do it for them. So, yeah. Peace, love. Like, I love you so much. And before I sign out, I just want to thank everybody that support me and everybody that rock with me. I wish I, I wish I would, I wish I would have said this. You know what I mean before or more frequently, but you know what I mean. I truly love everybody, and I truly love everybody that just really just rock with me and you just watch my videos and stuff and tune in with me and tap in with me and stuff. I really appreciate each and every one of you, and I love you so much. I love you with everything in me for real for real. i love you with everything in me and you all mean so much to me like for real for real for real for real for real mm -hmm. but thank you thank you thank you thank you and until we see again peace have a wonderful 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 day peace